Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to condition your clay without using the Sculpey Clay Softener. Alright, so the only materials that you'll be needing for this tutorial is a, um, of course, some hard clay, and then the other tool is a sharp blade. Um, you can use an X-Acto knife or a blade or whatever you have that's sharp and that can cut the clay. Alright, so I'm, the first step is I'm going to take one of my pieces and now I'm going to take my blade and start chopping up your clay. So just chop it up as much as you want. You want them to form really tiny pieces. So just keep chopping it up. And um, sometimes I chop like straight across and then I go the other way. Um, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. You just want to chop them up into tiny pieces. That's your main goal. So, this should be enough. So, now you can take all of your pieces and start bunching them up. At this point, I um, sometimes use my clay softener to just soften them up a little bit. But... If you do not have that, just keep bunching it up and um, just keep cutting it up until it is soft and usable. So I'm just cutting them up again and do this as many times as you need to until your clay is soft. So I'll show you the end result that I get when I'm done with this. So just bunch them all up again. And then I like to form into a square sometimes. So all you do to that is press on the top, then press on the side, and then press on the other side. And then, yeah, hopefully that was clear enough, but it's kind of hard to describe. But this is how I make my squares, I guess. And so just like that, and just keep chopping them up until your clay is softer. And if you don't know when your clay is soft, you can always test it and start to roll it out. And if it breaks and crumbles like this, um, it's not completely soft yet. So you want to just keep on um, either cutting it or you can kind of squish it around your fingers until it becomes softer and more, um, so, well, softer to work with, I guess. Okay, so this is what the end result should look like. Um, so as you can see I can move it around very easily and it's more flexible and when you pull it apart it kind of just spreads apart rather than crumbling apart and breaking right away so and it's just more workable usable I guess so I hope you like this tutorial and I hope that it worked for you so please comment rate and subscribe and I will see you guys later bye